Back here at Watkins Glen, we are under a caution as uh, Jeff Simmons, who has uh, well, had assumed the lead. You can see his car there with the damaged wing. And the tough part for Jeff is he's had a lot of uh, damage in Motegi at Indianapolis. He crashed and he has crashed here. And we talked to Jim Prescott as we take a look at it right here as he was uh, spinning and just clipped it. Prescott basically told him just bring the car home with all four wheels. Well, he hasn't done it yet. Uh, Jack, here we go. They come through turn 11. We're back to green flag racing. Green, 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 green. I love the jump that Thomas Schechter gets every time coming through 9, 10, and 11. Oh, and Danica spins coming out of turn 11. Ah, so bad. Seriously. Well, the saying goes, yellows breed yellows, and cautions breed cautions. Term it any way you want, but sometimes it's so difficult to get these things started once you've had a pack up like this. Now, the question is, we have not gone full What's yellow. What's the deal? Now we have just gone full yellow. Oh, no. And more trouble out on the track. That's Koski Matsura oh, and Jeff right. Simmons. This is looking on the exit of 11. And she has lost the car in the middle of the turn. Now, we don't know if she got touched on the back of the car to spin her around or if she was just carrying too much speed. Here we go. She was fighting the wheel. All right, let's go to the other end of this stretch, down into turns one and two, and keep an eye out for Jeff Simmons. There's Danica first off. There's... We're looking for the 55, Koski Matsura. There he is in the back. Jeff Simmons in the back as well. 55 Panasonic car of Koski Matsura on your left-hand side. We'll have to see he's going into the turn. Back on the power. Gets the car maybe to be a little wiggling. Oh, yeah, oh. just back on the power. The back end starts to wiggle itself just a little bit. And boy, did he get up there. And huh? this one's not Jeff Simmons' fault at all, guys. I mean, we've documented the fact that he has had tough luck but this one's Koski's. Well, actually, let's go back and even think as we watch again with Koski right on board. You can see how the car gets up in the air. But Jeff Simmons, remember the situation also in Japan where he was actually taken out with Scott Sharp going around in front of him, which actually Ed, is Koski's. I want to get the thing started. Back here at Watkins Glen, we're under our fifth caution. You saw it on side by side, a very frustrated and angry Marco Andretti. And we believe the man he is angry at is that man right there, Eddie Cheever. Let's take you back and show you what happened. Remember, all the lead cars have actually been passed. Whoa, that is a big put off. All the lead cars have actually just gone past Eddie Cheever previously. And Marco Andretti running is so much faster than Eddie Cheever. Eddie starts to come over, which is a normal line, but you gotta know that Marco's behind you because you would have seen him coming up in the mirrors. Well, it and looked like he was right side by side with him. Let's see, we'll go on board with Marco. Uh, it looked like Marco got right up alongside him and Cheever just didn't know he was there and just come over clearly side by side right now. Here comes Cheever right over. Guys, I'll tell you what, it's hard to see out of these cars. So. I know Eddie didn't mean that on purpose, that's for sure. But you know, this isn't the first this isn't the first time these two guys got together. If I remember correctly, St. Pete in practice they had something like that happen also. Yeah, they did. And uh, each blamed the other, and I'm sure you're probably gonna get two versions on this one as well. Look, look at look at Marco. This was him getting out just a little bit earlier, shaking his fist, looking over towards the direction of Eddie Cheever. Cheever's out of the car, everybody's okay. The cars are hurt, wounded, and they're both out of the race. Let's go to Doc. I think I could to keep the car straight, so um, I had my hands full. But with Danik, obviously, she was in front of me and I was passing her. All right, Eddie Cheever has spoken his piece, and we see Tony Kanaan stop in the middle of the track. Marty. Yeah. He started, and they could go back to green flag racing. Okay, I'll tell you what I'd do. I'd bring it down pit road right now, put the rain tires on, try to beat them all out of the piss, because nobody can run on slicks out here right now, Marty. It's impassable to run. The rain's coming down pretty hard right now. They've lost the racetrack, it looks like to me. It's got black. Okay, what you saw there with the 711 car from Tony Kanaan, just trying to get the power down coming out of the turn. Just squeezed it just a little bit. That's 650 horsepower. Remember we talked again, no traction control. The back end just starts to come around, and then you're a passenger. Rusty. No traction control, cold tires, and plus rain. You got a disaster right there. And what about Elio Castroneves? Well, he went for a skate as well. 